Happy Tuesday, Fit Family. Here we are with our mat workout today. I hope you slept well last night and that you feel fantastic today, nice and strong. Grab your water, grab your mat. We're gonna use a couple of bills. So just anything paper, paper plates, uh, socks on hardwood floors, discs if you have them. If not, no big deal. We'll use a mini band around the ankles. No big deal if you don't have that. And then some dumbbells or whatever type of equipment that you're using. Uh, pause if you need a little extra warm up. We're gonna jump right into it with some squats. So here we are Tuesday morning. I have actually got my shoes off today and I'm gonna be working on my mat. So if you'd like, um, take your shoes off and make sure you just don't have your socks on and you can grip those toes into the mat And if that's not comfortable, please 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 make sure that you are keeping your shoes on and just get off your mat Okay, all right, so we're gonna start with just 60 seconds of squats And so if you don't have a band, it's okay. Just keep the band off because this first set We're just going to be doing squats. So 60 seconds of squats those of you that are seated all day long, these are so important. These can be sit stands. So if you're seated at your chair, your desk, um, stand up, sit down. So we got to get moving. Here we go. Here is one minute of squats. So we want to make sure that we're pushing back in our hips and our heels and that we have intention of our posture. So I think intention is so important. If we don't have intention, most of the time we have momentum. And that's how we get hurt. So let's have intention today. Uh, chin is elevated, eyes are up. Um, try not to look down to the floor because then that strains the back. All right, shoulders are nice and relaxed. Tuck them in your back pocket. Open up the chest, push back in your heels. Notice that you can lift your toes right here back in your squat. Big booty squeeze at the top. Don't cheat those glutes. We are 40 seconds down. Now in set two and three, we'll put the band right above the knees if you have it. If not, no big deal. Inhale through the nose, exhale out the mouth. Remember, this is your workout today. You have eight seconds left. Beautiful, breathe, 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 and we're gonna take it low. Here we are. For one minute, we're gonna sidestep. Now, if we have a band, we're gonna have the band on, okay? It's gonna be right above the knee for easier. It's gonna be down at the ankles for a little harder. So pull right here, reach those arms. Reach, you can push. If you'd like a pushing motion, beautiful. Keep your chin up. The lower you go in your squat, the harder it is. Now remember, squats aren't for you today. You may wanna fast forward this and get into your single leg deadlifts with your bridges today. We've got 25 seconds, come on, push. <sighs> Working the quads, the abductors, the hips, the glutes, the core, the arms, push, pull. Take a deep breath, you got 15 seconds left. And then we're gonna move forward. We're gonna do some duck walks, monster walks. Ah, come on. We're gonna work it all today. Three, two, beautiful. If you have your band on and you want it to be harder, slide it around the ankles. We're gonna stay low and we're gonna walk forward and back. Here we go. Up, beautiful. Now, do I have to have a band on? Absolutely not. Be careful, fit family. Now, if you'd like this to be a little easier, and let's say you have the band on, do some step touches, forward and back, forward and back. If not, that's okay. We're gonna feel this regardless. So now we're feeling the quads, we're feeling the abs, we're feeling the backside, the glutes, the hammies. Make sure you're not hinging, we're not here. Come on, take a deep breath, we got 20 seconds left. Ah. You want constant tension, you hold it wide and you duck walk, monster walk up and back. A little step touch. If you prefer, you got five. We're gonna go into inchworms. You guys, take a break, shake it out. Woo, <clears throat> inchworms are so important. If I can stress these as one of the top five because this is total body, okay? All right, so keep your core tight. All right, we've got one minute. Now I'm gonna keep adding on to these inchworms. But for this first minute, I want you just to walk out into your plank, hold and pause, and walk back. Here we go, take a deep breath, reach, reach, reach. Here's our forward fold, here's your hamstrings, hinge. Soften the knees a little bit if you need to. Here's our plank, beautiful. Pull the shoulders away, tuck the pelvic under, take a deep breath and let's walk it back. 
Push through the heels. Soften the knees just a little bit if you need to. Enjoy that hamstring stretch. I hope these make sense to you, Fit Family, how important these is. These are pull the shoulders back, tuck the pelvic under, take a deep breath, let's do it again. If it bothers the wrist, maybe get up on your fingertips. Yes, if you need to hold the plank a little bit longer, feel free, we've got 20 seconds left. Take a deep breath. Do you feel warmed up, Fit Family? Yes, squats, monster walks, side steps, abduction, and here's our inchworm. Beautiful, chest, shoulders, back, core, hamstrings, glutes. Last one right here. Beautiful, drop to your knees, shift back into a child's pose. Let's take a deep breath in right here, stretching out your hips, your shoulders, your lats, your neck. <clears throat> Excellent, come on up. Give me a cat and cow right here, just a couple of them. All of this right here. Anytime you're feeling any tightness, in your back, stiffness, in your shoulders, please do some cat and cows. Those of you that work at a desk, for sure. All right, tuck the toes under, shift back up into a downward dog. We're gonna stretch it out, and then we're gonna walk our hands back. Take a deep breath. All right, Fit Family, I'm shedding my glasses. Here we go, round two. What is your option? Grab your band, all right, and place it above the knees. Now, if you don't have your band, that's okay. You could grab some dumbbells if you'd like. All right, here, we're back to the top. One minute of squats. Now, if the band rolls on you, it's okay. The bands are meant to move, so make sure it's as flush as you can. Separate those feet even wider if you have the band on. Here we go. Set two, inhale, exhale, come on. Now, you get to control how deep you come into your squat. If you have a band on, Go ahead and separate those feet as wide as you can so you feel that tension on your hips. You guys, this is one of the most important exercises right here. All right, don't do these squats if they hurt your knees. Inhale through the nose, come on. Yes, cup on the head, chin elevated, you are halfway. Come on, power squats, push back in the hips, squeeze the booty at the top, side view, back in the heels, booty squeeze. Inhale, keep your eyes up, come on. Hup, 15 seconds, and we're gonna step touch. Inhale, exhale, come on. Woo, feeling those quads, feeling those glutes. You got five, four, three. All right, stay low, you got your band. You want it harder, slide the band down lower. One minute, here we go. Step touch, ah, maybe you're taking just one. Get low, keep that chest up. Ah, come on, you wanna make it harder, what do you do? You don't have a band, that's okay. Yes, here we go, ah. I tell you, I always say, bands are one of your best pieces of equipment to have at home. Woo, come on, whatever you're doing. Two, one, you're feeling that tension on those hips, on that booty. Whoop, whoop, coming up on 30 seconds. Come on, let's move. You don't have a band today, that's okay. You're just side squat, side squat, side squat. Come on, hop, singles or doubles, get it. Woo, come on, last 20. Are you feeling those glutes and hips? Yes, come on, push. We got monster walks coming up in eight. Breathe, now remember that band's an option. If you're feeling it, you can kick it off. All right, we're moving forward. Take a deep breath, ready. Now, if you stay wide, you walk forward and back, you don't get a break, right? But if you step touch, watch your mat, backwards right here. Ah, that gives me a little bit of a break. We're moving back, hello booty. Now we're moving forward. Yeah, a little diagonal. Step touch. Yeah, get low. Come on, if you don't have that band on, I want you right here. Yeah, push back in your hips. Get low, push through your heels, heel toe, heel toe, step touch. Yeah, you got 15 seconds left. Come on, push, breathe, nice, come on. Core is tight. We got that inchworm coming up in 10. Are you feeling those quads, glutes? Yes, core, ah, relax. Take a deep breath. Fit family, if you have your band on, keep it on, okay? We're gonna add a reach back in an inverted plank, it's kind of a down dog, basically, and then we're gonna add a toe tap out. 
plain old inchworm if that's what you need today. Ready? Here we go. Get to the back of your mat. Take a deep breath. Forward fold. We're walking it out. All right. Here's our plank. We're going to come back. Right hand taps the left shin. Come back out. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Push. Left hand, right shin. Nice. Toe tap right. Toe tap left. Walk it back. Yes. Nice. Let's do it again. Inhale. Exhale. Keep in mind, even if you don't have a band, it's okay. Push. Pull and tuck. Push. Yes. Tap. Tap. There's those hips. Walk it back. Tuck, tuck, tuck that belly button in. All right. Take a deep breath. Yes. Do it again. Walk it out. Come on. You got this. Down dog. Right hand, left shin. Plank. Ah, oh, we're halfway. Come on, guys. Tap it out. Tap it out. Guess what? We're going to add a push-up. So for the last 30 seconds, you want to go ahead. I'm going to tell you where to put it in. Right here. Right hand, left shin. Yes, left hand, right shin. Push up. Toe tap out. Get it. All right, Fit Family. You got 15 seconds. Come on. Let's do another one. Inhale through the nose. Love these. Ah, down dog, tap shin. Down dog, tap shin. Tricep push up. Toe tap it out. All right, walk it back in forward fold. Take a deep breath, forward fold. Hang the head. Ah, inhale through the nose. Feel that stretch in your lower back, your hamstrings. All right, big breath in, back up to the top. Okay, we got a lot going on. We got squats. We're gonna move the band back up. I want you to hydrate fit family. Then we'll go into side steps. Lateral band walks, if you got the band. If not, side steps. Duck walks, or with the band, up and back, monster walks. Right into our inchworm, and this time, listen, it's gonna have that plank shin tap, plank shin tap, push up, toe tap, or plank jack. Last minute, fit family, here we go. Notice I have started you with all body weight, and I think that's so important. All right, here we are. How should we feel? Back to squats with or without your band. How should we feel, Fit Family? Yes, challenged, but great. I want you to honor your body today. I want you to think about the intention you have for this workout today. Inhale through the nose, exhale the mouth. Set those small goals, right? Things that you can achieve. I wanna drink more water. I wanna eat more fruits and vegetables. I wanna clean up my diet and add less sugar. Ah, uh, we are 30 seconds down, come on. Inhale, exhale, side view, back in those hips and heels. <sighs> exhale, booty squeeze, keep the eyes up. We're always looking up. <sighs> now, the last 15 seconds should be hard. Push, come on, ha, ah, challenge yourself today. How many squats can you get in? In five, <sighs> get ready for our step touch. If you don't have a band, that's okay. You wanna lower the band a little lower mid calf or ankle two and two is what I'm going to take here we go now keep in mind you don't have to have the band just stay low maybe you want to add just a one side to side yes take off do as many as you want side to side but listen just make sure you're equal stepping right stepping left why are these so important fit family for our hips yes for our quads and our core we don't walk laterally but we got to make sure those hips are strong. If you're having back issues, it may be because of your glutes being weak, but also those hips. You gotta get some band walks, clamshells. That's very important. All right, I've talked you through it. You got 15 seconds left in your minute. Take a deep breath. How should you feel? Third set. Yes, tired. Eight, come on, get it. Four, three, get back to the back of your mat. Woo! Take a deep breath. I'm going to adjust my mat just to here. Pull it out. Give yourself plenty of room. All right. Here is our monster walk. You don't have a band. That's okay. Get low. Here we go. You can keep the chest elevated. Now make sure you walk backwards, pushing through the heels. You can step, touch it up. Ah, come on. Slide that band a little lower if you need a bigger challenge. You don't have a band. That's okay. Keep it wide. Yeah, take those hands out front. Take them overhead. Remember, we are pushing back in the hips. A step touch. 
or a duck walk, monster walk up. Let's do it again. Ah, quads, yes. You got 15 seconds left. Your bum, your hamstrings, your hips, your core. Yeah, let's come up and back one more time. Let's go, come on, hustle. Keep those eyes up in five, four, yes. All right, fit family, keep your band on if you want. Inchworm, tap the shin, tap the shin. Push up, optional, drop to your knees if you need it. Tap out, tap out, two jacks, your option. Here we go, here's our last inchworm. Take a deep breath, pull the belly button in, feel that hamstring stretch. Come on, separate those feet just a little bit, right here. Sink the shoulders away, push back, tap the shin. Opposite hand, come down, give me that push up, drop to your knees if you need it. Two plank jacks, do it again. Walk it back, come on. Take a deep breath, these are time consuming. Pay attention to your form. Come out in your plank. Tap the shin. Tap the shin. Listen to your body. Push up. Toe tap out. Toe tap out. Walk it back. Enjoy that hamstring stretch. Forward fold. Come on. We're halfway. Get it, get it, get it. Beautiful. Sink those shoulders away. Tap that shin. Pull the belly button in. We've got 15 seconds left. Whew. Nice. Beautiful. Come all the way back up and forward fold. Hold it right here, fit family. Take a deep breath in, let your head hang. Grab your elbows if you'd like a little more intense stretch. And then I want you to take another deep breath and come up. All right, love that circuit. Squats, quads, side steps, hips and glutes, monster walks, anterior, posterior, core, inchworms, total body. If this is all you have time for, get out of here, go enjoy your day. That was a fabulous three round, one minute each total body circuit. Let's move on, we're gonna use weights. But then we're also going to use our paper plates, our plates, uh, our paper, our bills, socks on the hardwood floors, whatever you need. All right, single leg deadlift. Now listen, um, I think these are so important and you'll see these a lot in yoga. So this is so important for our hips our glutes, our hamstrings, our lower back, our core. If you have weights today, single leg deadlift, knee drive bicep, okay? A minute on each side. If not, I want you just to practice your single leg toe touch or your flamingo or your three and practice your balance right here. How do we balance? It's all about your core, okay? Right after that, we'll move on. We've got some uh, planks, half kneeling halos, and then we're gonna get down with our discs or whatever you have, paper, bills, whatever, come down to the floor. All right, so grab your dumbbells if you have them, your water bottles, whatever you're gonna use. And listen, if you don't have your shoes on, this is great because you can really grip your toes. All right, into the mat. So one minute each side, nice flight back, pull those shoulders away, here we go. Single leg, dead left. Into that knee drive, give me a hammer curl. Inhale, exhale, feel that stretch. Maybe you've only got one dumbbell at home. This will work right here, come up. Now, if you need to tap that toe down, go ahead. And if you have no weights, that's okay too. Right here, we're coming up on halfway. You can still do any type of arms. Take it out, little lateral raise. You've got 30 seconds left, add that bicep curl. If your balance is challenged today, don't worry about it. That's okay, just toe tap right here. Last 20 seconds, I tell you, some days are just easier than others. And I want you to honor your body today. Now, adjust that posture at the top. Make sure you're not rounding the shoulders right here. I don't wanna see any of this. I wanna see a flat back right here. 10 seconds left on this side. Now, if you notice that your ankle, go ahead and relax, shake it out, that your ankle's getting tired, really make sure you're pushing through your heel, okay? This is ankle strength. Here we go, other side. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, knee drive, bicep curl. Feel what it feels like to not have shoes on. Now you can't, you have to wear shoes in the gym. So what's nice about being at home is you can get on your mat barefoot, yes, really grip that uh, mat with your toes, really work in your ankles because we don't wanna fall. You know, we talk about being strong, preventing ourselves from falling. Well, this is one of those exercises, okay? All right, we've got 25 seconds left on this side. Whew. Here we go, inhale. Feel that hamstring, exhale. Booty squeeze, knee drive, core biceps. Do it again. Nice, two dumbbells, two water bottles, one dumbbell, just body weight, it all works. Give me five, four, 
three. All right, take a break. All right, Fit Family, come on down. Um, we're gonna do a halo. If you need to stand for this, go ahead and stand. Half kneeling's going to be harder, and we're gonna do that on each side, 30-30, with a 30-second plank in between. Okay, so if you need to stand for your halo, feel free. All right, so you're gonna go half kneeling, one foot forward. <coughs> Excuse me, and for 30 seconds, I want you to do a halo. So we're gonna come around, back to the front, hug the elbows in, sink the shoulders, and then come back around. All right, now, if you've got your water bottle, or maybe just your hands, and you can also stand, here we are. Tuck, bend the knees, it's a halo, come here, and then back around. I don't want you to half kneel if it's uncomfortable, okay? Here we go, elbows in, make a halo around the head, hug the elbows in, stop, halo. Ah, now, I want you to tell me, tuck that pelvic under, what are you feeling? Obviously, shoulders, yes, but what else? Obliques, core, yes. All right, 15 more seconds, elbows in. Yeah, make that halo. Mess that hair up in five, four, nice. Set it down, 30 second plank, let's go. Nothing fancy, right on your forearms. All right, take those eyes right over your wrist. Yes, stack those shoulders right over your, your elbows. Pull your belly button in, squeeze your glutes, push back through your heels, drop that chin, flat back, shoulders relaxed. You got 10 seconds and we're coming up to the other side. Keep in mind, you can stand for your halo. You wanna do more planks or some other type of core, go ahead, you can do a side plank instead of a halo. Go ahead and relax. All right, come on up. Grab your dumbbell, stand up for easier. I want you to tuck right here. You gotta tuck, 30 second halo, here we go. Ah, boom, stop, halo, elbows in. Now we're not shrugging. Right here, we're gonna feel, ah, those obliques. Reset, halo, elbows in, reset, halo. You got 15 seconds, options, standing right here. You got side planks, yes? You listen to your body, you have so many options. You're feeling those shoulders, here we are. Ah, last five, four, three, beautiful. All right, Fit Family, set your weight down. Now listen, we're coming down. Uh, to that paper plate, uh, I'm using Bill's exercise, okay? But listen, if you want it easier, Fit Family, you know how I feel about bridges. So I need you just to come down and do a bridge, okay? Uh, we're gonna put our heels <clears throat> on the Bill's. Our heels on the Bill's. <laughs> Here we go. So you can't say you don't have anything in your house because uh, I know you got paper, even if you don't have paper plates. Use your discs if you want. And if you had your socks on, go over to your hardwood floors or in your kitchen. You could do this on that. Okay, here we are. <clears throat> now, we're going to go from this leg curl backside to mountain climbers front side. Uh, and then we're going to do some ab rollouts on our knees and then back to a pullover full sit-up Russian twist. All right, this is it. Are we ready? In three, lay on the way back. Two, here we go. Lift the hips, pull the chin off the chest, relax the shoulders. You could go both heels. I don't like that one as much, kind of hurts my knees. So I'm gonna hold my bridge and I'm gonna shift, push left leg out, booty squeeze at the top, push right, I'm on my heels. Push left, push right, lift and hold. Here's that bridge hold. You have options, Fit Family, just lift and lower. Yes, right here, bridge is so important. Relax the chin, the shoulders. You don't have to do hamstring rollouts. You got a stability ball, get your heels on the ball and use your ball, you got it, come on, pull the belly button in, squeeze the glutes, we got 10 seconds left, breathe. Ah, we're getting into that plank in five, four, relax. Now, I'd like for you to practice, come on up, a plank on your extended arms, okay? Even if you're not doing the mountain climber fast or with, the, uh, with your bills, that's okay. Practice your extended arm plank. If that hurts the wrist, <clears throat> come down to your forearms, do something different, okay? So we're gonna go mountain climbers, coming into rollouts. So just put your hands on your mat, put your feet on your, on your bills. Here we are uh, for 45 seconds. Okay, now you know that a mountain climber doesn't have to be on anything else, but just maybe a regular mountain climber. Here we go, back is flat. Now these can be fast or slow. Right here, you can pull slow. 
You can come off of your bills, your paper plates, and do a nice extended arm, slow mountain climber. You have 30 seconds left. You can come cross body. You can come Spider-Man. I tell you what, you got 20 seconds. I want everybody to challenge themselves with whatever you need. Here we go, lots of quads and hip flexors, last 15. Tuck, pull the shoulders away from the ears. 10, breathe, five, and relax. Woo, those are so hard. Talk about total body. How do we make a plank harder? We beef it up with a mountain climber. All right, <clears throat> now we're gonna come down. So grab whatever you're using for weight. <clears throat> Let's do that pullover, <coughs> excuse me, into that full sit-up Russian twist. If you don't have weight, that's okay. Grab whatever. Uh, grab a book. The pullover motion is so important for shoulder mobility. So it doesn't have to be heavy, you guys. If a full sit-up's not for you, don't worry about it. Stay down there in a bridge and just do a pullover or just flat feet pullover. All right, here's what it looks like. Come all the way down. Here's your pullover. All right, come up to your full sit-up and give me a Russian twist. Now, if that's too much, I want you to take out the Russian twist, maybe just do the full sit-up. You can do this without weight. Pull over right here, arms over the head, feel that stretch. Exhale, body weight. All right, we're breathing. Inhale, maybe you have your water bottle, your detergent, and you just wanna practice your pullovers right here. Tuck the pelvic under, because this is core work. Push the lower back to the floor. Beautiful fit family. We've got 20 seconds left. Here we go. Nice pullover stretch. Feeling the triceps up. Russian twist. Yes, we are honoring our body. Tuck the pelvic under. Exhale up. Beautiful. You got 10 seconds left. Inhale. Exhale. Pull over. Beautiful. All right, fit family. I've got ab rollouts. If you have a wheel at home, grab it. If you've got a stability ball, grab it. Otherwise, you're with me with your bills, your discs, right here on your knees. Now, if you need to do some other type of plank or some other kind of core, I'm okay with that, okay? Lay down, do some dead bugs. Stay here, do some bird dogs. I'd be okay with that. These are tough, okay? We're only gonna do 45 seconds. We're gonna use our bills, paper plates, as discs. So, we're gonna be on our knees, so be very careful. Tuck the pelvic under, we're gonna push out. We're gonna pull back belly button in. If these are too tough, I want you to do something different. Here we go. Push them out. Now, I can do a little single arm. There's a great option. Yes. And then switch halfway. Maybe do them for reps. If I have the ball, I've got the ball right here, and I'm rolling out of the ball, you know what to do if you have the ab wheel. And if none of that is an option for you, I want you to do a bird dog. Add a crunch if you want. Switch sides, fit family. Now, you mix it up. Keep in mind, you start feeling your back, you gotta do something different. Inhale through the nose, exhale, drop those thighs to the floor, tuck, tuck, tuck. Nice, in five, four, three, two, and relax. All right, shift back into a child pose. That was a hard circuit, whew. We gotta do it two more times, okay? So back in your child's pose, maybe a little cat and cow. I wanted to give you heavy core today. Everything that we've done, is core work, okay? So make sure your abs are tight. Come on back up, fit family. We've got that single leg deadlift right into that bicep curl. So grab some water real quick. Dumbbells if you're using them, okay? Water bottles, whatever you got. Add a bicep curl for top, minute, minute. Two more rounds, fit family. Okay, grab your weights, here we are. In five, four, weaker leg on the floor first. Here we go. Single leg. How about that knee drive? There's an extra core balance move right there. Otherwise, tap the toe down. Inhale, flat back, pull the shoulders. Feel that stretch right in that hamstring. Glute, booty squeeze. How do you protect your back? Yes, you pull your abs in tight right here and you booty squeeze right here. Now, separate those toes if you're barefoot. Let's work those ankles. Breathe, you got 30 more seconds. If you're feeling your ankle, your toes, something's cramping, push back in your heel. You wanna use your glutes anyway, right? All right, this takes focus. Breathe, breathe, breathe. I got some light music on in the back. You make sure you're putting on some good tunes. Inhale, exhale, we're using our core. 
Yes, eight seconds left. You got time for a couple more. Come on, last five. Four. All right, nice job, Fit Family. Shake it out. Those are so hard. Now, feel free to put that weight down. Maybe use one dumbbell if you're feeling tired. Here we go, other side. <sighs> Beautiful. You got to use your core right here. You got to use your glutes. Without your core and your glutes engaged, you'll have no balance. So, Make sure that you're not trying to come too deep. Yes, because remember right here, we don't want to touch the floor. That's going to make you lose your form, okay? Flat back, stop right here, warrior three. All right, 30 seconds down. <sighs> Take a deep breath. One side feels a little different, doesn't it? Yes, inhale through the nose. Exhale off the mouth, breathe, breathe, breathe. <sighs> You've got this, beautiful. Feel that hamstring, feel that glute, ankle, calf. Woo, 10, exhale, come on. Last five, four, three, beautiful. Now, if you're not feeling that halo kneeling, here's what I want you to do. Grab your water bottle, your detergent, stay standing. So I'm gonna show you standing. Come on down kneeling, make sure your pelvic tilting, belly button in, soft knees, here we go. Halo, 30 seconds. Now we're switching it back around. Right here, elbows in, shoulders relax. Feel your obliques, tuck, tuck, tuck. Yes, if you're kneeling, a little more challenging. Make sure you sink those shoulders away. Tuck, you got 15 seconds. So no arch in the back, side view right here. Tuck that pelvic under. Feet are about shoulder width apart. <sighs> Halo, make a circle, mess up that hair. Come on, ah, last 10. We're coming down for a plank. Five, four, relax. Those are good exercise, excuse me, good exercise um, for your lats and your back. Come down for a 30 second plank. Nothing fancy right here. Everybody can do a 30 second plank, right? Eyes are stacked right over your wrists. We got 15 seconds. Shoulders over your elbows, tuck. Pull your abs in so tight they hurt. They burn, not hurt, they burn. Squeeze those glutes, you got eight seconds. Take a deep breath. We got halo again in three, two. Switch your knee, lead leg right here. I'm going kneeling for this one. Here we go. 30 more. Is your heart rate up? Yeah, sink those shoulders right here. Halo around the head, sink, elbows in. Alternate it. Ah, you're gonna feel those obliques, tuck. Come on, I want your chin elevated and I want your shoulders relaxed. 15 more seconds, you're right here if you need it. Ah, come on, little halo, tuck, tuck, tuck. Feel those obliques working, feel your sides. Yes, in five, four, Three, relax, take a deep breath. All right, we're coming down for your disc, your bridge, leg curl, alternating. Regular bridges, fit family if you need it. Okay, grab your bills, you know what to do. One minute bridge if you need it. We know how important bridges are. We'll come up and work the quads in a mountain climber next. Here we are. What does this do compared to a bridge? This adds what? You tell me. It adds hamstrings, doesn't it? Not that a bridge doesn't work your hamstrings right here. You can lift your toes and just lift and lower. But right here, push out. This is going to get those calves, hamstrings, and glutes. So pull your belly button in. Stay with bridges if you need it right here, down and up. Maybe go double leg. Just make sure that you're not hurting the knees. Pull the abs in tight. I want you to lift that chin, and I want you to sink those shoulders away from the ears. You never want to have your head and shoulders off the mat. Last 15 seconds, make it uncomfortable. Think about how you want your mountain climber. Five, do you wanna use your paper plates, your bills, and relax? Are you gonna go, come on up, uh, just body weight, that's okay too. All right, 45 seconds into our pullover, into our ab rollout, one more set, Fit Family, you look great. So, option to have your feet on, fast or slow, ready, here we go, hands right under your shoulders. I want you to tuck that pelvic in, so I don't wanna see this. I don't want your chin dropped, and I don't want your bum in the air. Get down there, come on. Ah, go a little cross body. Take it out to the side. Get fancy, Fit Family. Push, get those quads on fire. Fire up that core, those shoulders. Yes, come off. Right here, slow, fast, cross body. Spider-Man, yeah, give me 10. Yeah, five, four, three, two, relax. Woo, take a deep breath, Fit Family. All right, pull over, full sit up. 
Russian twist, body weight only, if you need it, okay? Maybe you wanna hold a V-sit. Maybe you wanna get into a side plank. All right, here we go. Maybe you just wanna pull over right here. Just do your pull over, come right back up to the chest. Enjoy your heart rate dropping right here. Elbows in, lift into a bridge to make it a little more intense. And then add your full sit up, Russian twist. Beautiful fit family. All right, set two, how are we feeling? Evaluate, yes? Pull the belly button in. You don't have to elevate the feet right here and you don't have to have a dumbbell, right? Inhale, exhale. You got 20 seconds left, come on. Inhale, exhale, beautiful. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Pull the abs in tight, squeeze the glutes, exhale. Five, four, all right, last ab roll out. Uh, grab your ball, go to a plank again. That way you just equal a minute. Right there on your forearms, go to a bird dog. I have so many options, what else? I just don't want you hurting your back. Go to a single arm. All right, here we go. Ab roll outs. These are tough. You need to pay attention to how you feel. All right, here we go. Push it out right here, drop those thighs. Now tuck, 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 tuck. Woo, try it with one. One right here. Do like two or three. Switch arms, you got 25 seconds left. You got a ball. Yes, use your ball. Put your feet, uh, hands on your stability ball. Come down and do some bird dogs. You got 15 seconds left. Everybody is honoring their body today, yes? Come on, you got 10. You got a wheel, I want you on it. Five, four. All right, fit family, shift your hips back. We got about 10 minutes and one more set. Evaluate how you feel. Grab some water. Intention, yes? Come on up, hydrate. Last set of single leg deadlifts with a bicep curl at the top. Woo, take a deep breath. All right, here we are, Fit Family. We know this last set is challenging. All right, here we go. Single leg, deadlift, flamingo, flat back, booty squeeze. Take those eyes up, reset your spine. Separate those toes if you're barefoot. <sighs> Push back in your hips and your heels and make sure you have a flat back right here. No rounded shoulders, always posture. Inhale. Exhale, beautiful, we're coming up on halfway. I want you to honor your body. You have options, yes? Exhale, come on. Inhale, breathe, breathe, breathe. Beautiful fit family, yes. Come on, we are strong. We've got 25 seconds left. Tap the toe if you're getting tired. Put the weights down. The bicep curl is an added bonus. I'm all about more bang for your buck. <sighs> Exhale, another 15 seconds right here, breathe. Come on, you are strong. Give me five, four, three, and switch. Woo, shake it out. Boy, those are so tough. I hope these make sense to you. Other leg. First of all, um, you know, we do have one side more dominant, maybe a little better balanced. Uh, and so these are so important to be able to do single-sided exercises, yes? Plus, we hip hinge like this throughout the day. So we gotta make sure that our back, our glutes, our core strong and our hamstrings are nice and flexible. You've got 30 more seconds. Take a deep breath, come on. Inhale through the nose, flat back, exhale. Check your posture, eyes up. Tap that toe if you need to. Last 15, you're feeling that leg you're standing on, yes? Ah, pull your abs in tight. You got 10 seconds, come on, push. We got one more halo in five, four, three, and relax. Now, shake it out. You know kneeling is a lot harder. So feel free to come up. Standing, we got 30 seconds, ready? Check your posture, tuck your pelvic under. Here we go. Right here, reset, elbows in, around, tuck. I want you to feel those obliques. Tuck that pelvic under. Make a circle, make a halo. Ah, mess up that hair. 15 more seconds, we're coming down to a plank. Now remember your options. You're standing right here if you need it. Five, four, three, hello, arms back. Here we go. 
Come on down, 30-second plank, and we're coming back up for our other side. How do you feel, Fit Family? You look fabulous today. You are strong. Positive mind, positive body, yes? You got this. Take a deep breath in. Pull those shoulders away. Elevate that chin. Looking down, head neutral. Abs in tight. 10 seconds. Squeeze those glutes so hard you feel them. Work that body. Come on, five, four, three. Other leg, halo. Come up and stand. I'm keeping you moving. All right, I want to have a few minutes to stretch. Come on, we know how important stretching is right here. Keep the chin elevated. Keep the eyes up. Tuck the pelvic under. Feel the shoulders. It's mobility. Golfers, come on, we got to be practicing this move. Yes, it is obliques. It is a little bit of back. You got 10 seconds. Come on, alternating halo. If it feels uncomfortable, you get confused. Go all one side in five, four, three, relax. Man, you worked hard today, Fit Family. All right, back down for your last bridge or your last leg curl. You decide whichever one's going to be for you. I'll tell you halfway, and that way if you want to change it up, you can, okay? All right, <clears throat> here we go. Come on down. Regular bridges. Here we go. Lift the hips. Pull the elbows in. Push out right. Push out left. How about a double push? Maybe one single. One single. Don't let that bottom touch the floor. If you're struggling with that, I want you right here, regular bridges. No chin off the chest on the chest. Eyes up, shoulders pull away. Come on, let's go. Inhale through the nose. Fit family, you're coming up on 30 seconds. So maybe you want to pulse and hold. Yeah, maybe you want to burn it out right here. Right, left, right, left, right, left. I don't want to know what you need. Maybe you need a break and you want to go down and up. Maybe you just want to hold it and stretch your back. Come on, give me 15. Oh, hello, calves. Hello, hamstrings. Yes, hello, glutes, core. <sighs> Take a deep breath. You're almost there. Last 10, nine, eight, ah, five, four, three. We're taking care of that backside, relax. Woo, pull those knees to the chest. Take a little break for your spine. Let's come up. It's just as important to work your front as it is your backside. So let's get that front side. Mountain climbers, with or without the paper, the disc, whatever you choose, please make sure you feel good. We are getting close to the end, Fit Family. Here we are. Okay, 45 seconds. What do you need? On your body, here we go. Pull the abs in tight. You go as fast or slow as you want. Take it cross body. I don't want to see this. All right, so maybe you just need to hold your extended arm plank, okay? Come off the discs or come off the paper. Right here, you got 30 seconds left. Maybe take it slow. Yes, you need strong core, strong abs, strong shoulders, yes? If for any reason this is not for you, you drop to your forearms. We got one more pullover and one more ab roll out in five, four. Beautiful, you should have felt that front side. Take a deep breath, Fit Family. Let's do one more pullover, full sit up. Now, you know this can be just a pullover, yes? You know what to do. Grab your water bottle, grab your detergent, take out that full sit-up. I like compound movements, so stay right here. Notice the stretch through your triceps, right here, your lats. Don't arch your back, tuck your pelvic under. Maybe you wanna come to a bridge. Notice the core work in this. All right, pullover, full sit-up. Keep the heels on the ground if your back feels it. Inhale back, give me that pullover, don't arch. Exhale, tuck. Please make this what you need. Inhale, exhale, all the way up. Come on, we got it. Woo, last 15 seconds, Fit Family. You are strong. We got one more ab roll out. You should feel your core. Yes, give me one more. Inhale, exhale. Beautiful, so strong. We didn't miss a muscle group today, I'm telling you. All right, let's come over for our ab roll out. You know you're doing bird dogs. Maybe you're doing single arm, okay? Um, maybe you just wanna throw in some push-ups to burn it out, I don't know. Listen to your body, here we are. Get on that ball, that ball is a great option. What does the ball add when you add the stability ball? That adds balance, doesn't it? Um, maybe you wanna just come right here and practice your push-ups. You know, that's a moving plank, isn't it? How about a nice bird dog? I want everybody moving. You got 25 seconds left. Single arm it right here. Make sure you sink that shoulder away. All right, last 15. 
You gotta use your core. You gotta use your glutes. These are tough. Come on, give me 10. We got time for a few more. In five, four, woo, relax. We did it. <laughs> All right, Fit Family. That was fantastic. Let's come back right here into a tabletop position. Take a deep breath, arch, arch, tuck the chin. Ah, nice, reverse it. Pull the shoulders away. Turn it sideways right here. Sway the back, push the hips up, look up. All right, nice cat. This flexion extension of your spine is so important, Fit Family. Breathe, all right, one more. We did so good today. We feel so good. Shift back into your child's pose, open your knees. Shift back, walk those hands out. Go ahead and drop your forehead. Uh, now do you feel your shoulders? Do you feel your lats, upper back? If you want, walk off to the left, push your hips to the right, really feel a nice side body stretch. You're breathing, and then the other side. Fit family, I need you to hydrate today. Good job, you're amazing. Good, let's come back to the center one more time. We worked those shoulders today, so let's do a thread the needle, take that hand Whichever hand you're starting on, slide it underneath, palm up, and lay that shoulder on the floor. Opposite hand on the small of your back, definitely more intense. Golfers, this is a stretch for you, very important. All right, switch sides. Doesn't that feel good? I sleep on my side. Um, I know it's not the best, but boy, this shoulder stretch feels really good. I keep practicing trying to sleep on my back. Like my husband, I can't do it. I'm a side sleeper. At least I'm not a belly sleeper, right? That's the worst for you. All right, come on up, Fit Family. If you'd like, tuck the toes under. You can shift up into that downward dog. I want you to hang out here. You know how important it is to stretch, yes? Maybe you wanna walk those fingertips back after you enjoy a few breaths and then just forward fold right here. Yes, come on the way up. Roll the shoulders out, Fit Family. We did it. Have a fabulous day. Lots of water. Join me tomorrow for Tabata. We've got this week and next week. And then you're on your own. Back in the gym with classes, you guys. Great job today. Stick around. Take some time to stretch. Have a fabulous Tuesday.